All right, everybody. So I'm here in my kitchen at my sink. I want to try to show you something here related to Newton's laws, mainly Newton's third law. So I've got this Coke bottle here. And with this Coke bottle, I've taken a mini screwdriver. I've poked a couple of holes. I don't know if you can see it. There's a hole right here. And then I poked the second one on one of the other parts of the bottom, there's a hole right here. Okay, so when I fill this with water, you'll see water is gonna come out of those holes. Okay, so a little hard to see, but I've got water shooting out of one hole this way. That's actually going to apply a force on the bottle the other way due to Newton's third law. And the same thing over here, I've got water shooting out that way. It's going to apply a force on the bottle the opposite way due to Newton's third law. And I've positioned them so that this hole is closer to me and further to you, while this other hole is closer to you and further to me so that uh, it's gonna it's applying forces on the bottle causing it to twist okay because of where I put the holes in so I'm gonna fill it up with water once more I'm gonna put the cap on which I've attached the string to to allow it to rotate freely and hopefully you can see that happen all right so I let go and it just starts to spin hold it again Right? And it starts to spin. So that's because water is shooting out of those holes. Um, since the water is coming out of the holes, that means something's forcing the water out of the holes, and that's actually the pressure. Um, but then that means, due to Newton's third law, the water applies a force back on the bottle. And because of the positions of which I poke those holes, it causes it to spin. Though. It looks like the water's not coming out that much anymore. So it's not spinning too much now. If I empty all the water out. So now there's no water that's going to come out of this bottle. See the bottle's not spinning anymore. Okay, so that water coming out of that bottle, uh, the bottle applies a force to push the water out. So the water applies a reaction force back on the bottle, making it spin. And I'm going to, I just showed you this because the first example in the uh, next topic is about rockets. And that's kind of what rockets do. Rockets have fuel inside, which gets burned, which causes all these gases to heat up. And then the rocket pushes, well, if this were a rocket, the rocket would push all of that hot gas out from the bottom, applying a really, really large force on those gases, pushing it out of the bottom. And then uh, the reaction force from that actually pushes the rocket up. Okay, so you can watch the next video and we'll talk about a rocket.